expensive and like a big deal. Tell us about the bailout of the slave owners. So, in, I mean, one of the things often when we're talking about empire, we talk about slavery. And one of the first things then is how Britain abolished the slave trade. And it's like, yes, Britain did abolish the slave trade, but after about 200 years of profiting from it. And the profits from the slave trade didn't end with the end of the slave trade because the only reason slave owners in Britain agreed to the abolition of the slave trade was because they would be compensated. So just to underline, it wasn't the people who had been enslaved who were compensated for their loss of liberty. It was the British slave owners, people who owned other people who were compensated. And they were compensated to a tune of £20 million in 1833. That's the equivalent of £17 billion today, which, to put it another way, is 40% of GDP. 40% of GDP then... 40% of GDP then... Was 20 million. Was 20 million. So 40% of our total national income went in compensation... And there wasn't enough money in the country to pay people. And so what the government did was raise bonds. So those bonds were raised, the slave owners were paid. And we, that is British taxpayers, both in Britain and the colonies, only finished off paying that bond in 2015. So if you've paid tax prior to 2015, you have paid compensation to people who owned other people. And that was still be 